When it comes to selling on Amazon, solely relying on organic traffic to acquire new customers is not enough. With supply chain disruptions and unexpected profit losses, businesses can easily run into trouble without a solid plan in place. If you want measurable traffic to your listings, running Amazon PPC campaigns is still the best answer. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Pajal, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to show you how to optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns in 2023. Well, here's a quick overview of the topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Now why should you invest in Amazon PPC optimization? For your business to be successful, you need a positive return on investment. And with Amazon PPC, that's exactly what you get. For example, let's say for every $1 you invest in PPC advertising, you receive $3 in return. Wouldn't you want to keep investing and keep earning a higher return? That's the beauty of Amazon PPC. By optimizing your campaigns, you can double, triple or even quadruple your initial investments. However, you should keep in mind that proper optimization is key to increasing your return on ad spend and minimizing your costs. So by investing in Amazon PPC optimization, you can decrease your costs while increasing your sales and that's a win-win situation. If you're wondering how to optimize your Amazon PPC ads, I have got you covered. To get the most out of your PPC advertising, it's important to follow these key optimization steps. Also stay tuned to see a success story of one of our brands who used automatic targeting strategy and observed a fourfold increase in their ROAS. First, know where you want to go, set clear goals and KPIs. If you're running an Amazon PPC campaign, one of the most important things you can do is set clear goals and key performance indicators to help you measure your success. This way, you can track your progress and make informed decisions about your campaign moving forward. When setting goals, it's important to be specific about what you want to achieve. For example, you may want to increase sales for a specific product, improve your ad conversion rate, or decrease your overall advertising costs. Whatever your goals may be, make sure they are realistic, measurable, and achievable within a specific time frame. Once you have set your goals, it's time to identify key performance indicators that will help you measure your progress towards these goals. These can include tracking metrics such as click-through rate, conversion rate, advertising cost of sales, return on ad spend, and cost per click. By monitoring these KPIs, you can assess how well your campaigns are performing and make adjustments as needed. For example, let's say you are running a PPC campaign for a new product you just launched on Amazon. Your goal is to increase the sales for this product within the next three months. You might set the following KPIs to help you measure for your progress such as a 10% increase in CTR within the first month, a 5% increase in conversion rate within the first two months, a decrease in A cost from 30 to 20% within the first three months. By monitoring these KPIs, you can see whether your campaign is on track to meet your goals. If you are not seeing the results you want, you can adjust your bidding strategy targeting or ad copy to improve your performance. Second is keyword research to optimize your product listing. The foundation of any successful Amazon PPC campaign is keyword research. In order to reach the right audience, you need to know which keywords they are using 
to search for the products like yours. With the help of the Amazon uh, keyword research tool, you can identify high performing keywords and add them to your product listings, thereby optimizing your campaigns for maximum visibility. On the Seller App platform, navigate to the keyword tool. Under this, we have two sub features. First is keyword research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table lamp. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you will find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. As you can find tags against these keywords, they depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. For gaining that initial visibility, start with the seed keywords and phrase or broad match type keywords. Later, add long tail keywords to boost conversions. To find out competitor keyword strategies, reverse ASIN tool comes into picture. Here you can compare your ASIN with your competitor's ASIN. I added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time you can compare your ASIN with three other competitors' ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you will find the keywords which are present in the ASIN as well as your competitor's ASIN. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate these keywords. This is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and estimated uh, conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. This can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the search. You can add these keywords in the backend search terms to get your product indexed for these keywords. Third is create targeted ad groups. Once you have identified the relevant keywords for your product listing, the next step is structuring your campaigns with targeted ad groups. When it comes to running successful Amazon PPC campaigns, precision matters. One effective way to improve the visibility of your products and get better ad placement is by creating targeted ad groups. So these groups allow you to tailor your ads to specific audiences, increasing the likelihood of the conversions. For example, let's say you sell home decor products, including the curtains, rugs, and throw pillows. Rather than creating a broad ad group for all your products, it's better to group similar items together. By targeting the right audience, you can improve your click-through rates, conversions, and ultimately your ROI. Moreover, grouping similar items together allow you to monitor the performance of your campaigns more easily. You can track the CTRs, conversion rate, and other metrics for each ad group and make adjustments as needed. By doing so, you can optimize your campaigns for better performance, resulting in better ad placement and more conversions. Fourth, make negative keywords your superpower. Once you have created targeted ad groups for your Amazon PPC campaign, it's important to ensure that you are not wasting your budget on irrelevant clicks. This is where negative keywords come in as a powerful strategy to help optimize your PPC campaigns. These keywords are the ones that you don't want your ad to show up for when people search for a certain phrase or keyword. By identifying and adding negative keywords, you can eliminate irrelevant traffic and improve the performance of your ads. Let's say you are selling organic tea on Amazon and you have an ad campaign targeting the keyword tea. But you don't want your ad to show up for searches related to iced tea or bubble tea because your product is not relevant to those searches. By adding iced and bubble as negative keywords, you can prevent your ad from showing up for those searches and save your ad budget for more relevant traffic. Amazon's PPC platform allows you to add negative keywords at both the ad group and the campaign level. 
You can review the search term reports for the last 30 to 60 days from the advertising report dashboard in your Amazon advertising account, analyze the performance of each targeting and identify the one with higher conversion. Keep that one running and remove the others to optimize performance. With this, you can reduce your wasted ad spend and improve the overall efficiency of your Amazon PPC campaigns. Fifth, take advantage of automatic targeting. To optimize your Amazon PPC campaigns, one effective strategy is to harvest high-performing keywords from your auto campaign. By running both automatic and manual campaigns for the same products for a week or two, you can evaluate the search term report to identify the keywords that have generated good sales and have a low A cost. For example, if your automatic campaign for a yoga mat product generates a significant number of sales and have a low A cost with the search term non-slip eco-friendly yoga mat, you can add this search term as an exact match keyword in your manual campaign to maximize the conversions and reduce the ad spend. In addition to looking for high converting search terms in your automatic campaign, you should also look for them in your broad and phrase match targeted manual campaigns. Once you find these high performing keywords, move them to exact match targeting to optimize your ROAS and reduce your ad spending. It's important to note that for some keywords, moving from broad or phrase to exact may result in a dip in sales. In such cases, you can revert to the initial targeting options. Amazon advertising optimization is all about A or B testing with different combinations and selling which ones give the maximum conversion and ROI. To make this process easier, you can use the Seller App Advertising Insights dashboard. Firstly, enter your target ACoS in the Advertising Overview section. Then go to the Insights, Auto Manual. You can see all the search terms in the automatic campaign with the lower ACoS than your target ACoS and good conversions. You can then select all and move them to manual targeting with just one click. Similarly, you can move high-performing broad and phrase match search terms into exact match targeting with the target improvement dashboard. This helps you optimize your PPC campaigns efficiently and effectively. Well, we recently had an amazing success story with one of our brands that used automatic targeting to skyrocket their sales. By using this strategy, we were able to determine the most effective keywords that boosted their discoverability and desirability among potential customers. And guess what? The results were outstanding. We saw a massive 22x increase in product detail page views and a whooping 140% boost in sales. If you want to learn more about this case study, be sure to check out the description below. Sixth is optimize bids for placement. Optimizing for placements is a crucial aspect that you should not overlook in Amazon PPC advertising. By doing so, you will have more control over where your ads appear and how much you are willing to pay for them, allowing you to make the most out of your advertising budget. When setting up your Amazon advertising campaign, you can set bids for placements such as top of search, rest of search and product pages. You can then adjust your base bid by setting bid adjustments for top of search and product pages to improve your product's visibility. Although there is no bid adjustment for rest of the search, you can set a base bid for this placement. To see what placements work best for your campaign, you can access the product placement report from the advertising reports tab on Amazon. By analyzing the data and identifying the best performing placements, you can set the appropriate placement bid multiplier between 0 to 900 percent to increase conversions and improve the brand awareness. Here's an example of the placement report you can download from the reporting center on the Amazon Ads Console. Identify which placements work best for you based on your advertising goals and bid higher for those positions. 
you can find the performance by placement data by opening a campaign and clicking on the placements tab you'll be taken to a page that looks like this where you can adjust your bids next is increase budgets for special events using budget rules if you are running a business on amazon it's important to know when your products are most likely to get conversions you can increase daily budgets for your campaigns for special events recommended by amazon like prime day or black friday or for custom periods like christmas holiday season this is possible with budget rules when amazon recommends a special event it also suggests a suitable percentage increase to your daily campaign budgets this way you can ensure that your campaigns are optimized to capture as much traffic as possible during high volume search periods in addition to schedule based rules you can also set performance based rules using a budget rules this means that your sponsored products campaign budget can automatically increase based on the performance metrics such as a cost click through rate and conversion rate this helps to ensure that you are maximizing your roi and driving the best possible results from your campaigns if you have been running ads for a while now but still feel unsure about using rules to optimize your campaigns there's no need to worry you can actually make things easier on yourself by using the selera platform one great feature of this platform is that you can have your rules reviewed by experts which can help you fine tune your ad strategy and get better results now let me show you three simple steps to create departing rules on the selera apps advertising dashboard go to automation automation blueprint and budget management then create a blank departing rule in this first step choose account level or campaign level i'm choosing campaign level sponsored products all campaigns next the earliest start date will be tomorrow's date and the end date i'm choosing as 8th of may now do you want to override the budget for the selected campaigns if you select it as yes then you need to enter in daily budget that will be applicable for all the campaigns from the start date to the end date if you select it as no whatever budget you have already allocated for all of your campaigns that will be it from the start date to the end date next select time it usually starts at midnight and the budget will be the absolute value you can also add more time over here and now you are all set to review and enable your departing rule this will help to optimize budget utilization and reduce your wasted ad spending on your campaigns next is use product targeting the right way as an amazon seller you want to make sure your products are getting as much visibility as possible one way to achieve this is by using product targeting campaigns but how do you make sure you are targeting the right products identify the top selling asins within your account look for the asins that are performing well in terms of sales and customer engagement next identify asins relevant or similar to these products look for products that can be sold alongside your products um they can be you know from a different subcategory but are related to your products in some way for example if you sell a popular coffee mug you might have related products like a spoon or coaster under similar theme or material create product targeting campaigns that focus on top asins while also promoting the underperforming products create product targeting campaigns that focus on the top performing asins but advertise the underperforming asins as well this will help those products to get more visibility and potentially more sales the objective of the strategy is to allow the underperforming asins to bank and capitalize on the popularity of the top sellers for example let's say you sell a line of luxury wine glasses and your best selling product is the antony barcelona wine glass you also have other wine glasses that are not selling as well but are similar in style and quality 
By using this strategy, you can create a campaign that targets the Antoni Barcelona wine glass and also advertises your other wine glasses. This will help increase the visibility of your underperforming products and potentially lead to more sales. Ninth is test, test, test. A or B testing is a perfect way for any Amazon advertiser looking to improve their campaign performance. By testing different ad creatives, keywords and placements, you can gain insights into what works best for your products and target audience. To start with A to B testing, you should create two variations for your ad with one key difference. For example, you could change the ad copy or use a different image, then run both ads simultaneously and monitor their performance to see which ones perform better. Once you have determined a winner, make changes accordingly and run another test with the winner and a new variation. So by continuing this process, you can actually refine your advertising strategy and find the most effective approach for your products. Tenth is reach out to an Amazon agency. Optimizing Amazon PPC campaigns can be a challenging task, especially if you are new to the platform or don't have much experience with digital advertising. That's where an Amazon agency comes in. They can help you optimize your campaigns for better results and provide expert guidance on how to improve your sales and visibility on the Amazon marketplace. At Sellwrap, we help e-commerce brands like yours to create a comprehensive advertising strategy with the help of our experienced PPC experts and AI-powered PPC management tool. If you want to do Amazon campaign optimization for long term ROI, do reach out to us on support at sellerapp.com and we can definitely help you drive your business to the next level. Now, making mistakes with your sponsored ads is a common occurrence, so don't beat yourself up about it. The good news is that there are plenty of Amazon PPC optimization tips we discussed and you can try to get your product the visibility it needs. It's all about making your campaign as relevant as possible and with little effort, you can improve your ads performance. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have published an in-depth blog on Amazon PPC optimization strategies, which you can find in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, Please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more exciting and helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!